Mr. Roberts, a primary school teacher, asks his class of eight-year-olds their desired career choice for when they get older, become adults. Add a whole 20 years onto your life, he says, and let the sky be your limit. Tommy, you go first, give me your goal. Okay, sir, wait a minute. Yeah, I got it, I wanna be rich. And how exactly do you plan on achieving this, Tommy? Questions Mr. Roberts, half inquisitive, half dismissive. I don't know, Tommy, I admits I just wanna be rich. Okay, Laura Cassidis, you next. What occupation is top of your wish list? Well, sir, Laura says with concentrated thought in her eyes that stray from the floor to all four classroom corners. I want to be a homeless musician. She bellows out loud, expecting to be immediately dismissed, and she is. As the whole class laugh out loud at this, the poorest choice of rich list occupations there is. You see, sir, I saw a strange man strumming strings in the street last Saturday. He performed this beautiful assortment of mellifluous chords, and in his eyes lie the wonders of the world, and in his words lie the wonders that the human brain could ever imagine, that my ears had ever heard. His voice, a final furlong from horse. Fingers, coarse. Fedora bought a long time before the guitar, authentic. He sang as if a worry had never troubled him, as if it's the rest of us that failed to fit in, and the best of it is, he wasn't busking for pittance. No, sir, he gave me back the two pound coin I attempted to give him, and told me to make a wish, which ticked the boxes of my soul, which instinctively ignited a passion in me, sir, a passion that turns pain and hurt into flames of mirth in an instant. But homeless, Laura, wouldn't you prefer to be a musician that could retire to a stable home, perhaps with a mortgage, a resort where you can climb into bed at the end of the day and know there's no shortage of warmth. Of course not, sir. You're clearly missing the point here. How can I experience and fully appreciate the delights of nature with paper walls and a roof in between us? How can I move into tomorrow with unpredictability when freedom is restricted by security? No. I prefer to live far less expensive which I accept could prove more costly in the long term. And as for safety, highly overrated. So a stately home based on the Lake District distinctly overlooking the same mundane scenery would be lost on me, sir. Too stationary for my liking. Enlightening, Laura. But what about the brutal freezes of winter? Strengthens the mind, sir. And what about starting a family? There'll be plenty of time for that sometime after. And hygiene? I'll happily shiver on the banks of a rolling river if needs be, as long as I'm free, it's nothing short of easy to me, sir. Please believe me. Okay, Laura, but just so you know, there's nothing stopping from being a teacher like me. <laughs> I would be teaching, sir, but my teaching would be voiced in a completely different capacity. No curriculum, I just teach peace and love. And as long as I touch one person's heart, I know I'll reach those stars above. Just peace and love, sir. Just peace and love. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kind audience. Okay, our last poem is called Dance With Me. Okay. Dance with me. As if dancing was our very first passion. As if all around us is not happening, simply dance with me. When our inner demons laugh at us and belittle our final compassionate actions, take my hand, bolero fashion, and dance before the chance has passed us. For the gods, they have finally marked our cards, and our sins, they were never worlds apart, although you may claim different in a bid to resist the Cinderella shoe that fits, which you'll find is a universal size, hypocrites. Our commercial side did well to hide the worst of it. Yet each word and verse we've ever lived will surely meet us in the life thereafter. So before the judge regurgitates our scripts, let's sentence ourselves to dance and laughter and greet calm before the storm of karma. And I resent those supposedly close to us who weighed us down with their own insecurities. Bitter breeds and energy thieves, hopelessly devoted to negativity. And I resent those who propose we grow up to seek the phantom land of maturity. Such urgency in urging me and you to be responsible was always futile. So now I smile at the inner child I once was and still hope to be. 
Silly random acts with tantrums attached still gloat when coaxing me. Let's dance together, regardless of whether we have rhythm in our bones. Let's laugh at the weather, and whether or not we're fettered, we won't fester on the fact that we're dancing alone. Let's just dance our way home. When all is said and done, it's our most embarrassing moments that made life so entertaining. Namely, my continual falling over in public, your endless tears and curse words when inebriated. To have not caused those raucous scenes in the first place would have hurt worse at this reminiscent stage. I now see that we had to live the beginning of our stories before being allowed to turn pages. Let's face it, our good and bad behavior, they both have their places. For you and I understand that the universe embraces the apple that Isaac Newton studied no less than the one Adam and Eve tasted. We had to make the mistakes we made to make it here today, and I wouldn't change this, and I hope you wouldn't either. This is just a reminder that our colourful lives don't have the kindness to tell us when time's up. So let's throw some crazy shapes on the dance floor from spring to winter. And if Swayze says, nobody puts baby in the corner, then we'll dance skywards like when he airlifts her. Because brothers and sisters, the politics, the cynical and sinister that administer any form of torture to hinder us, can't succeed when the music in our soul is mellifluous. Can't breathe when our steps get too intricate. Can't believe love and peace is what's shifting us. Can't see that our giving is what's gifting us. And if we must, we shall waltz from this realm into the next, where no doubt the unexpected will once again attempt to try and get the best of us. The difference being, when those vultures come to steal our limitless dreams, you'll instinctively know to take my hand, to take a chance, to laugh and to dance with me. Just dance with me. Thank you.